Only the top four drivers remain, and they're ready to battle it out on the track in the first ever event of the 2020 season of the DRC. Excitement is in the air as the top four drivers get ready to take the track here in the final round of the first event of the DRC. Joining me today, as usual, is 2D. This is exciting, 3D. Right now, we're looking at four great rally cars with four really good drivers. Who's going to take home the first championship of the 2020 season? Really, it could be anybody. That's right, there's only a three-point spread between first and fourth place. A bad run from any of these drivers in today's race could be disastrous. Yeah, there's really no room for errors today. All the points in today's race will be scored the same way they were in the previous rounds. One point for each checkpoint and the finish line, two points for a first place finish, and a bonus point for catching big air at the end. The drivers will once again be going head to head. The way they're matched up is determined by how they rank in points. Up first, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman Stephen King driving the number eight Ford Escort Rally. He's the current leader with 26 points. He'll be going up against Jeff Gordon in the number 24 Volkswagen Scirocco. Stephen King suffered a bad wreck in his first race of round three that almost completely took him out of the competition. Yeah, that was the worst wreck in the DRC to this date. Yeah, it was, it was pretty awesome. What may have been even more awesome was his comeback in the second race passing up Kieran Moran mid-air, and then getting that big air bonus at the end. Once again, that's why they call him the Superman. Jeff also had trouble in the first race of round three. He managed to make it past the finish line, but got stuck behind Musletone 17. But he turned it all around in the second race with a perfect run. Both of these guys are fast. I expect to see a tight competitive race here in the final round. Here they go. Stephen King will be starting on the inside lane. A three-point difference between Jeff Gordon and Stephen King. Jeff is going to need a first place finish with the big air bonus if he wants to catch up. Right now, Stephen King is keeping him in his rear view mirror. Here he goes. And it looks like Stephen King gets the bonus point. It seems like every time Stephen King gets to that finish, he goes big. That's going to be seven points added to Stephen King's score, but only four added to Jeff. The points gap between those two just got a lot wider. Yeah, with a six point difference, there's no way he's gonna catch up to Stephen King in this round. He's just gonna need to score as many points as he can in this next race and hope the next two drivers don't do very well. I mean, you never really wanna wish another driver doesn't do well, but at the same time, you kinda do. Stephen King once again out in the lead. Jeff taking advantage of that inside lane there, neck and neck going over the hill. Whoa. Stephen King nearly goes off the track as he passes Jeff. This guy is crazy. Car spinning around at the finish line. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on here. It looks like the officials have awarded the win to Stephen King, but we're gonna need to see a replay of that. Stephen King with a nice lead here going into the finish, oh. and look at that. Looks like King lost control and Jeff just had nowhere to go. Kind of reminds me of what happened in the last round with Muscle Tone 17. Yeah, Jeff once again helping his opponent get past the finish line. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. Jeff adds eight points to his score, bringing it up to 31, but look at Stephen King. 13 points added to his score, bringing his total to 39. Wow, an eight point difference. It is not looking good for Jeff Gordon. Yeah, even if he made it into the final race with Stephen King, that is just a huge points gap. Up next, representing the French, is JC Calma in the number one, Lancia Stratos. The, the French, what do Bonjour. you mean? Bonjour. I'm not even gonna ask. JC Calma will be going up against his rival from round three, Dylan in the number five, 2008 Lancer Evolution. JC Calma got smoked on the track in round three, but his consistency throughout the entire event has given him more points than Dylan. So far, slow and steady has been his strategy, but he's gonna really need to step on it here. Yeah, with only one point separating the two of them, he's gonna need a first place win. Right now, it doesn't look like that's going to happen as Dylan pulls way ahead down the track. He gets a lot of air going over that hill. JC Kalma following, but he's not even close. And Dylan takes the first place win, and I think he got the big air bonus. Yes, he did. That's a big win for Dylan. With 31 points, he's now tied with Jeff. If he can maintain his lead over JC Kalma in the next race, he is guaranteed a spot in the final race. Right there, you can see Dylan completely past the finish line before his car makes contact with the track. JC Kalma once again makes it to the finish, but now he's down by two. He's gonna need a first place win here to stay alive. You know, the way he's been driving, I don't think he's gonna do it. Dylan with an even bigger lead this time. JC Kalma still at the top of the hill. Dylan just needs to keep it under control right here. I think he's got it. Here he goes, and Dylan will be- Whoa! Whoa. 
hell is that? What the? Where, oh my goodness. Where did that come from? I don't know. That appeared to be JC Kalma's slowest race, and yet he got the biggest air of this round. How did he do that? Look at how far down the track Dylan is over JC Kalma. Dylan gets the big air bonus, but look at this. Wow. wow. I mean, he's still out of the competition, but that's an impressive way to go out. Yeah, definitely. JC Kalma making the French proud with that flying finish. You, you do know it's an Italian car, right? Making the Italians proud with that flying finish. Both JC Kalma and Jeff are out of the competition, which means Stephen King will be taking on Dylan for the DRC Event 1 Championship. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back. It's time to get started with the final race. Superman Stephen King in the number 8 Ford Escort versus Dylan in the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Who do you think is going to take it, 2D? You know, my gut says Superman Stephen King, but my heart says Dylan. Dylan started this event off as an underdog. He had that really bad wreck in the first round, so I'm going to root for Dylan. Stephen King with the lead. Dylan right on his tail. It's a really close race right here. And there it is. Superman. Leaping over buildings in a single bound. Superman Stephen King with the huge air at the and end. And what happened to my boy Dylan? That is not good. He didn't even get the finish. Yeah, what was a one point difference between these two has now grown into a five point difference. Ouch. Even if Dylan gets a perfect run on this next race, that by itself won't be enough if Stephen King makes it past the third checkpoint. Well, we have seen him wreck before. Come on, Tootie. We don't want to see that happen to any of our drivers. Hey, I'm just saying it could happen. I mean... Anything technically could happen on this track, but it's going to take a real miracle for Dylan to even tie Stephen King at this point. What do you think is going on in his mind right now, 2D? Oh, I'm sure he's kicking himself over that mistake. He really needed to finish that race with a big air bonus to really be in contention here. But I think right now he needs to put it all on the track and hope for the worst for Stephen King. Come on, 2D. What? That's the only way he's going to catch up. Dylan flies past the first checkpoint, and so does Stephen King. Dylan's got some real speed here. Whoa! Dylan with a strong finish. Wait, what just happened Whoa, there? That didn't look right. Stephen King slamming into the back of Dylan's car while it was upside down. I'm hoping he just had a mechanical failure with his brakes, but that kind of looked like some unsportsmanlike conduct. Yeah, I mean, it looked like he had control over his car coming over that finish line. I agree, let's look at it again. Here goes Dylan with a huge flying air finish at the end. He knew he didn't have a chance, but he still put on a great show for the fans. You've got to respect that. But now look at Stephen King just cruising in over here. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, even if his brakes were shot, it seems like he still could have steered his car over to avoid that collision. Yeah, we're going to have to wait for the official word of what happened there. But Stephen King is our winner with 50 points. Congratulations to the King. Dylan finishing the event with 48 points. Not a bad score there at all for Dylan. JC Kalma takes third with 34 points, and Jeff takes fourth. Stephen King had a rocky start back in round one, not completing the first race, but he made a major comeback in round two with that Superman finish. I think that's still my favorite big air jump in this event. The wreck in round three almost took him completely out of the competition, but he proved that he could overcome the odds, soaring him into victory here in the final round. And there he is, your DRC Event 1 champion, Superman Stephen King. The driver of the number eight Ford Escort Rally, driving for 3D Bot Maker Racing. I'm hearing some boos. Yeah, a mixed reaction from the crowd as the Superman takes his first championship with a little bit of controversy. Not controversy over his points, but with that reckless driving after the finish line. Yeah, we're getting word in. The official statement from his team is that his steering went out on the car. I mean, that could definitely happen in rally racing, especially with the big air he caught in today's race. Here's a look at the next seven cars scheduled to take the track. On the left, we have another Escort, a VW Rabbit, an Audi Quattro, and a Morris Mini, all representing for the Sub 4RA team. And on the right, representing for 3D Bot Maker Racing, is a Pikes Peak Celica, a Fiat 500, and a Hot Wheels Original Rally Finale. Looks like Stephen King is certainly going to have his work cut out for him in the next event, but right now he can take a moment to enjoy this victory. A well-earned victory at that, Stephen King not afraid to take risks. Those risks almost did cost him big time in round three, but overall, it really ended up paying off. You've been watching the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Racing League. The home of Diecast Sports Action Racing. I'm 3D Bot Maker. And I'm 2D. And we'll see you on, on the, the track. track.